we're looking at now, you heat a four saddle tag or Nimna, whatever you want to call them, on the Brother PR uh, multi needle machine. So all you'll need first is obviously Numna. You'll need a plank of wood, some pins, um, your design, obviously you're wanting to, um, to, to embroid, a ruler, a screwdriver, your hoop of choice. This one is the 180 by 130 millimeter hoop, standard one hoop, and then also a piece of backing. Um, so I'll, I'll bring the camera over and see what you need to do. Here we have the, the numner, or saddle paddle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so what you'll have to do is um, you'll have to obviously find where, where you want your, um, your design to go. So I'm wanting it roughly about there. You get the standard steps, get your, 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 your hoop just into the back there, line it up, put your back in just underneath, so you cut it to, to, to size, it doesn't matter if it's a bit too big, but yeah, stick it just straight under there like so, line your design back up. Obviously the ruler, um, you, you know, if you want it perfect, just measure uh, from the bottom to the top to make sure it's all even and central. Put your top hoop on. So this is where people struggle, um, which I did originally. They're very hard to push in, very hard. It's a thick material. Um, so what you've actually got to do is make sure it's level, just like that. Obviously your pins are to pin the design to it so you don't, um, so it doesn't move. And you get your plank of wood, like so, and actually press. You press on as hard as you can. It does then sink the, um, the the top hoop into the bottom hoop. You can feel it go in. You can actually feel it sink. And what you've got to do, it's hard to do with one hand. Uh, so we, you can use clamps if you like. Once you press down, remove everything so you can see. Once you push down on it, you um, there's a, a screw hole here to adjust your hoop. Uh, so if you get the screwdriver, if it's easier to bring it to the end of the table and actually adjust, I'm going to bring the camera, there you go, flip that up, a bit easier, there we go. And then you actually adjust it here, just here, so you, you twirl it until um, it's really, really tight and you should be then able to take it off and uh, actually, obviously, put it on the machine. So what I'll do, I'll just get it hooped because it's hard to do with the camera uh, and I'll show you the next steps. Nice and tight, it's not coming off um, uh, with the backing under there. All I've done is adjusted that. You can see it's very, very tight. I've actually adjusted that with the screwdriver until it, it's very snug. And um, obviously it, it does hold into that in there then. You can see uh, it will, uh, I'll stick it on the machine to show you how to do everything else, but you can see it's uh, lovely and tight. That's not coming off. You can, another option, if, if, if you're not strong enough to actually push them in, because it's not the easiest of things, you can actually bulldog clip the, um, basically the backing, or hoop the backing, and then bulldog the, the saddle pad to the actual uh, backing itself. It is hard, it does move around on the machine, and you're not going to get as nice of a finish, but uh, it can be done. So let me stick it over to the machine and show you the next steps. similar to the six needle but um, it does work a little bit better especially um, if you've got more colours basically but this one has got the table I recommend getting that just because it makes if you're doing a lot of these it makes it a lot easier to slide it on slide it off putting less pressure actually on the hoop itself because you can, they can unfortunately pop off if you're not careful so all you need to do is load your image onto the onto the screen I have already done that um, rotate it whatever you need to do this one does need to be rotated, so I've done that. So all you've got to do is, as normal, if you're obviously used to um, your machine, is slide it under, this one on the back of the table, make sure it's all on the back. You slide it under, like so, make sure it's all lined up. And then just slide it in, easy as that. And this one I'm on about the table, you can see it's a nice flat bed. It's not all crumpled up, bundled up, whatever you, 
um, like you know, like it would be if, if you didn't have it. So now you just line it up as best you can. What I do, I put the, the center dot on, uh, like so, so you can actually see um, where the center of the design is, and I've got it on here. All you do is line it up like so, like that, press OK. And I take the design off. And I just use pins, that's all I use. Just slide them out. There we go. And then if you bring the camera back up, you can actually see the grooves of the saddle pad. You can, uh, you, I don't know if you can see it on camera very well, but the actual uh, grooves in the uh, quilted material you can actually see them on the camera. That's why the 10 needle's great for this. You can see all the letters are actually going through uh, the same bit, if I make it a bit bigger. There we go. You can actually move it down to the bottom. And again, you can see they're all in line. It's not wonk, which is, uh, you know, definitely don't want that. Um, so I am happy with that. I think it's in the right place. All you do is okay. Embroid. Make sure your colors are right. I've got gold and blue. So it's on there, five and seven. And then as you can see, you press start and it, um, it, and it starts. So this design takes about 12 minutes. Um, it's not that long, uh, but I'll uh, update you once it's finished. please leave them in the comments section uh, I'm always happy to help and um, I hope this has helped you get um, your saddle pads you know number numbers saddle pads whatever you want to call them done correctly because I know it's not not the easiest thing to do I know there's a lot of them online saying you've got to use the mighty hoops or the magnet you know the magnetic strong hoops you don't they are it's obviously more difficult than them uh, but these are the standard brother hoops that the machine comes with all you've got to do is just be a bit forceful with them and spread the weight with the actual plank of wood. But now, as you can see, it can be done. Um, there's the other way, if you, like I said, if you've not got the strength, you can bulldog clip it. It's basically, like I said, hoop it to the, um, the hoop itself, the backing, and then bulldog clip the, the numner to the actual backing itself. Um, but there is still that possibility it can move, and um, you know, you might. I didn't want to take the risk at that, so I thought I'd wait to get around it. So thank you for watching, more coming soon. Please comment and subscribe for uh, the daily dose of embroidery. Thank you, bye.